can organize your notes into courses, subjects and topics. For example, you can create a new Wiz notebook and call it Physics. Then add subjects with appropriate names. Here we have a subject called Solar System. In Wiz Notes, the area that you enter your notes into is not called a document or a page, but is called a leaf. Name the leaves with the names of your topics. In the subject Solar System, we have leaves named Galaxy, Objects, Gravity, etc. Click on the Video Context button, then click on any button on the toolbar. For many buttons, you will see a short video explaining how to use that feature. In this way, you can quickly and easily learn how to use the different features in WizNotes. If you want to quickly find some basic information about something in your notes, just select the appropriate text, press on the Wikipedia button, and immediately you will see information from Wikipedia inside WizNotes. When you review your notes preparing for your exams, you probably will not want to read through all the information in Wikipedia each time. While reading information in Wikipedia, you can prepare your notes for fast reviews in three easy steps. Select the text in Wikipedia that is important to you, press Ctrl C, then press on the Add Comment button. Automatically, a pop-up Wikipedia comment will be added to the text in your notes that you previously selected in order to look up information in Wikipedia. There are different ways to quickly and easily add links to media in your notes. If you have a picture or video on your computer, select some text in your notes, press the Import Media button, find the file and your selected text will automatically can be converted to a link to that media file. Hold down the control button and then you can click on that link. You can quickly learn a list of information using WizNotes special test me table. Give a title to your table, add headings to the two columns, then enter the list of information that you need to learn. When you want to be tested, just press on the green toggle tests button that appears at the top of the test me table. The left column will be displayed, but you will need to fill in the right column. A check or cross will indicate whether your answer is correct or not. There are different types of tests. The random test is weighted to test you more on the items that you do not know yet. When you are not being tested, you can always go back and change your list of items. There are two ways to add a bookmark in WizNotes. One way is to select some text and then press on the Add Bookmark button. The selected text will become the name of the bookmark. Alternatively, if no text is selected, when you press the Add Bookmark button, a new bookmark will be added for the current cursor position. The text near that position will be the default name of that bookmark. You can gather resources related to a topic before you enter your notes. Click on the Add New Resource button in order to collect reference information from heterogeneous digital formats and associate them with a particular leaf. For a web page, you will copy the address, paste it into the resources assistant, give it a name, specify how authoritative that information is, then press the plus button in order to add the resource to the collection. Similarly, for online video, you will paste the embed code instead of the web has address. A blazed a fiery trail over Western Australia, creating a light show that could be seen from hundreds of kilometres away. A startled resident spotted the fireball as it hurtled towards Earth and captured it on camera. What the hell is that? It was spectacular. The rare sight of a meteor burning up as it plunges through the Earth's atmosphere, exploding, then disappearing into dust. Last night's extraordinary... After you have gathered a collection of resources relevant to your current topic, you'll probably enter your notes. You can quickly and easily link your notes to the relevant resources. Select the text that you want to add a link to, select the relevant resource, then click on the Add Link button. Hold down the Control button and click on any link in order to to see the related resource.
use highlighting in order to indicate which part of your notes are important to remember. Yellow shows that it is slightly important, orange is important, and pink means that it is very important. There are three ways to highlight text. Either you can select text and then press the relevant important button, or you can press an, an important button and then mark some text as being important. Alternatively, you can double click an important button and then highlight text in several different places. You will need to click that important button again in order to release the cursor. Click on the View Important Phrases button in order to see text that you have marked as important. You can even choose to view information that you have marked as important in other places. Click on the Verbose button in order to see the context of the phrases that you have marked as important. Just click on one of the results and that leaf will immediately open and scroll to the highlighted area that you are interested in.